In this video, we will discuss about addition of two matrices using Raptor. I am Dr. P. Visena from CBIT. So the symbols which we are using here it is including input output symbol and processing decision making we are using a loops. So inner loop, outer loop in order to men men mention the two dimension arrays. So introduction about two dimensional arrays. Always i comma j will represent the indexes. Assume that i comma j are the integer variable which will represent the indexes. A array of i, A array of j will represent a one dimensional array. A area of i comma j will represent a two dimensional array in a raptor. Always i comma j will represent the indexes. A of i comma a of j will refer values at that particular memory locations. Here, one comma one comma one location, the value will be three. So one comma two location, the value will be eight. One comma three location, the value will be six. So in this way, the values are stored in this. Addition of two matrices, idea behind it. So first you need to read a three by three matrix. 1 comma 1, 1 comma 2, 1 comma 3, 2 comma 1. In this way, we need to read the A matrix 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 row, 7, 8, 9. First row, second row, third row. Similarly, you need to read the B matrix. So here B, B of I comma J, 11, 22, 33, 44, 55, 66, 77, 88, 99. So A matrix and B matrix. The logic here it is C area of i comma j is equal to A area of i comma j plus B area of i comma j. So this is logic working is in um, programming languages like C, C++ and Java Python. So whereas in Raptor you need to write C area of i comma j only. So in square brackets you need to use only ones. The resultant matrix here it is once we are adding these two 1 plus 11, 12. 2 plus 22, 24, 3 plus 33, 36. In order to perform this addition or subtraction, the order of these matrices are same. So when the order of this matrix order is nothing but number of rows into number of columns. So 3 by 3 matrix, 3 by 3, 3 rows and 3 columns. If the order of the matrices are same only, then we need to perform the addition of this one. So before doing this addition you need to check the order of the matrix are equal or not so this is the algorithm or procedure where to perform addition of two matrices initializing two empty three by three matrices so you need to create a area of three by three b area of three by three and read the elements of both this matrix by using this outer loop for rows inner loop for row columns by using this one you need to read the elements once you are reading these elements, then you need to initialize the resultant matrix C, A, C area of 3, comma 3. So add corresponding values. So like, so value at 1, comma 1th location in A matrix, value of 1, comma 1 element in B matrix, 1 plus 11. So 12, 1 plus 11, the value will be 12 that will be stored in C of 1, 1, comma 1th location. So similarly, A of 1, comma 2, first row, second column 2. First row, second column, 22. So 22 plus 2, 24. You need to store in this resultant matrix at 1, comma 2 locations. So display the result matrix. So after this, uh, this is the flowchart of addition of two matrices, reading these elements. So I value is 3. I value is initialized to 1. I is greater than 3. I am reading a 3 by 3 matrix. First, I am reading a value set A area of i comma j. Again, I am reading the value set of B area of i comma j. So after reading these elements, I am adding this corresponding value set particular memory location. C area of i comma j is equal to A area of i comma j plus B area of i comma j. A area of i comma j plus B area of i comma j will take place and results will be assigned to C area of i comma j. Then j is equal to j plus 1. In this way, we need to increment i, i is i plus 1. So this inner for loop is j is j plus 1. By incrementing j value, the inner for loop will be executed. By incrementing i value, the outer for loop will be incremented. So this is the flowchart representation of addition of two matrices. So then here my first matrix A is, the first row is 1, 2, 3. Second row is 4, 5, 6. Third row is 7, 8, 9. So next, I am reading the second matrix, B. The first row is 11, 12, 33. So second row is 44, 55, 66. Third row is 77, 88, 99. These two rows, corresponding values will be added. Then this resultant matrix. So 1 plus 11, it becomes to 12. 
So 2 plus 22, it becomes to 20 for these. So in this, my flowchart representation, I'm using two for loops, outer for loop for rows, inner for loops for columns. By using these two for loops, I'm reading the corresponding values in A matrix and B matrix. Once I'm reading the values of A and B matrices, then I'm adding these corresponding values and results will be stored in C. At the end, I'm displaying the result. So this is the addition of two matrices in place of C area of I comma G, A area of I, I J plus B area of I comma J. In place of plus, if you are writing minus, then it will give the result of subtraction of the given two matrices. So in this way, you can find the matrix multiplication. So before matrix multiplication, you need to check whether the matrix multiplication is possible or not for the given matrix order. Suppose A is the matrix with M by N, P is the matrix with P by Q. So here we need to check M, N is equal to equal to P. The number of columns is equal to equal to number of rows in the second matrix. The number of columns in the first matrix is equal to equal to number of rows in the second matrix. Then the matrix multiplication is possible. Once the matrix multiplication is possible, I am taking this outer for loop for rows, inner for loops for columns. So next I am using one more for loop that is K for loop. So in order to find the matrix multiplication, the resultant C, resultant I comma J is equal to resultant of I comma J plus matrix of matrix one, matrix one of I K into matrix two of K J. C area of I comma J is equal to C area of I comma J plus A area of I K into B area of K J. If A comma B are the matrix in place of matrix one comma matrix two. So outer for loop, inner for loop. So in that I am using one more K for loop in order to maintain this matrix multiplication. This is the main idea behind this matrix multiplication. Before doing matrix multiplication, you need to check whether the matrix multiplication is possible or not by using the order, order of the matrices. Find out matrix diagonal sum. Once you know, once you read the matrix, find out the diagonal sum of this matrix. Check whether the given matrix identity matrix or not. Right. So identity matrix here it is 1 0 0 0 1 0 right 0 0 1 all the diagonal elements are 1 then it is said to be identity matrix a into i is equal to i into a is equal to a only if you are multiplying any matrix with identity matrix then it will result on a only find the sum of each row and each column once you read the matrix find the sum of each row and each column right so you can try these problems Thank you children, thank you for listening.